Good morning and welcome at today's lesson. Let's start with our circle time songs. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time. Sing with me. Five little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went swimming one day over the hills and far away. Mummy duck said quack, 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 but no little ducks came swimming back. Daddy duck said quack, 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 and five little ducks came swimming back. Remember on Monday we started doing our five senses and we did taste and we got that sight. Today we're going to do smell. We're going to do smell and you smell with your nose. Can you tell me things that you can smell with your nose? I can show you a few things. You can smell the flowers in the garden. You can smell the yummy cookies that mommy's baking in the kitchen. Mommy can smell your stinky socks that you've left on the floor in your room. And mommy can also smell when you had a nice hot bath and you clean. Can you think of other things that you can smell with your nose? Let me know. Let's go over to our numbers. This week we're busy with number nine. Teacher Meryl is going to use her magic pen and she's going to go over the nine. Then she's going to use the stickers that you got in your pack and she's going to complete the nine with the stickers. Teacher Meryl, can you take your magic pen and follow the number nine? Round and down. Well done. Now Teacher Meryl is going to take the stickers and she's going to complete the nine with the stickers. Can you tell me what shape the stickers are? Circle. Yes, they are a circle. Can you tell me what color they are? They blue. Well done. Teacher Meryl, can you complete the number nine with the blue circles? As you can see, Teacher Meryl is doing it. She's not going to complete it, but you can do it. Finish it at home with all the circles that you've got in your pack. Let's go over to our letters for the week. It was I. The first one was the small letter I and you're making an insect. Let's see if Teacher Meryl can make the insect. She's going to use the green eye that you got in your pack to make his body. 
and who can tell me what shape that is that is a rectangle and what is she using to put the dot on the eye that looks like an oval now teacher Meryl is going to draw some legs on our insect remember our insect has six legs well done teacher Meryl before you go on teacher Meryl can you count the legs one, one two, two three four five six well done let's put some eyes on two big eyes and his feelers on top well done hope you're enjoying making your insect at home now we're going to do the ice cream okay now we're going to do the ice cream that is the capital letter i teacher meryl can you put the body on that is an eye and who can tell me what color is the eye yes it is purple now teacher Meryl is going to put the cone on who can tell me what color is the cone that's brown well done now she's going to put two scoops of ice cream on it one is pink for strawberry ice cream and the next one is green for lime well done teacher Meryl hope you had fun at home building your ice cream let's sing one or two songs five little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mommy called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed four little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mommy called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed three little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mommy called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed two little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed one little monkey jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed no little monkeys jumping on the bed none fell off and bumped his head mommy called the doctor and the doctor said put those monkeys back to bed one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One side caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? this little finger on my right well done let's go over to our story of alma i just first want to show them that we're going to look at alma in our storybook that is different teacher Meryl is going to color in the Alma that you got in your pack and she's going to show you how different our elephant is to a normal elephant while I read the story teacher Meryl will color it in Alma flies in the wind 
Alma loves to watch the shapes in the clouds. He can see a teddy and a rabbit. What can you see? I can see a dinosaur. I can see a turtle. I can even see a flying dinosaur. Flash, bang, crash. Alma thinks storms are exciting. Bump, oops, sorry. It's hard to see ordinary elephants in the fog. Can you see the normal ordinary elephants? Or can you see Alma? Slip, slap, slop. Alma plays in the rain. Brrr, brrr, whoops. Alma loves to throw snowballs. Ha, ha, ha. Alma likes the sun best of all. Don't you think his sunglasses looks funny? The end. Teacher Mabel's not finished with her elephant yet, but as you can see, it's different to a normal grey elephant. This is a special elephant. Hope you have fun colouring your different elephant at home. Hope you had fun in today's lesson and see you tomorrow. Bye!